Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? Back again. Today we're checking out the Psionics Aurora. Now, sometimes I get the little, uh, you know, get the, you know, the label messed, or not the label, the uh, the brand name messed up. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it, but welcome back. Today we're trying out this digital night vision device. It is a camera, first and foremost, at least in my opinion, it has this actual glass here. It's very nice. It has the record button here on top. These are directional buttons. This is the set whenever you want to pick something on the menu, which is nice because sometimes they have dual buttons and it's kind of weird to have a dual, an actual set button is nice. You have the, let's see if I can uh, focus that here. Sorry about that. A little bezel ring for actual like focusing on objects near, near or far. And it's actually pretty easy to twist. Now when I had it to my eyes, like I'm going to have some uh, footage going on over here of this and the difference between this one right here. This is the uh, the fire field, which I'm going to be doing another video of on had it for a couple of years. That's an analog green. This is a multicolor digital night vision device. So I'm going to having some footage over here of uh, a couple of different things, maybe some uh, lightning storms and some regular nights, moon, with, uh, no moon. Um, also this Soyuz um, $15 light I got from Dr. Evil Amazon website because I do not like using Amazon. I try to go to anybody else other than them if I can. But unfortunately, I went to the Psionics website and they were out of stock. For this one so we are having to do a couple things here so now like i said i'm going to go over some of the things that are difference between here and for this and uh what i'm going to be doing for this now first of all i got this uh because i'm going to be going to a bunch of different areas campsites uh one is in washington state it's going to be pretty far out there going to need some night vision going to need to be out there because it's pitch black and it is dark dark out there especially because we're up in the mountains and there's nobody here to save us now also here in florida it gets pretty dark also because some of the areas we're in so that's why I bought this. Uh, second of all, I'm going to be mounting this to my helmet now um, for various reasons of do airsoft or anything else. This is my super old, trusty, dusty Kevlar. It's got the nice, really nice thing. Now, what I do like about this, this has a double. It's hard to me focus this in here. This has a double adjustable chin strap. Other ones only have like some generic chin strap where you can't even adjust it on one or the, even the other side. And I've got this. And this is awesome. So. Don't know why everybody else has the weak ones and they spend all this money on everything else, but whatever. That's just my opinion. So uh, also this comes with a, you know, little gig, uh, 32 gigabyte card. And it comes with two batteries right here. This is the type of batteries they are. So you can see it's uh, right here. Let so me focus that there. Sorry, the camera's a little hard to reach. These uh, Psionics SX50 batteries, yeah, 1100 milliamps, 3.6 volt. Uh, 10.5, uh, excuse me, 10, 25 milliamps over 3.7, uh, thing right here. Sorry. I don't want to read all this technical information. It gets kind of like confusing because I had went, went to like the comm school in the Marine Corps and they, you know, go through all that stuff. It's kind of like annoying to have to go back to that stuff. But if you'd like to, it's there. It's very useful to know all that stuff. Eventually when you're doing some of these other things, you're going to need to know that. Second of all, um, the color night vision is a little bit different from green because this is like a an active system it's not like the passive green one so there is a, a little bit of a lag when you're like kind of going back fast which i do have some video of and i should be able to put it up right there so that you all can see that um but like i said it isn't bad like i said i have some other i'm going to be buying some other eventually when i save up some more money um, not for work be buying some other digital ones because i have actually two more that i'll be making videos the uh, that Sergeant Slaughter and Master Rick were so kind to lend us over here at the Adventures Guide to the Galaxy. And they are budget night vision. So we're going to be testing those out also so that uh, you can see the difference between them because some of them have really good zoom, even though they're extremely inexpensive. They have really good zoom and they are digital more than this one. This one does zoom, but the zoom isn't nearly as um, prolific and as amazing as you would think. It's just an enhancement of the image that's already there instead of an actual lens to zoom like the fire field here because this is a four times zoom and it's already zoomed in four times. So if you're going to be doing any um, looking over further distances at night, I would probably use something like that because it's handheld. You can just turn it on and off real quick. And also this, let me uh, focus this here. This comes with its own IR device already built into it. And it was about $140 and you wouldn't think that it would be that awesome, but I guess the technology has come a long way and it's actually quite nice. It's hard to get the phone to, you know, do it justice because when you put the phone up to it, it's a little difficult and you have to like do all this stuff and the phone's acting funny and it thinks you're not doing stuff. So like I said, it's a little bit different. So also for this one, even though it does not have its own IR device, it does have recording devices. So you can take pictures, you can do video 
It has like a playback. It has like, you can actually search through your videos, it has Wi-Fi and other settings. It's actually very nice. It's like, like I said, it's waterproof down to a certain degree. And uh, it's actually very nice. Like I said, there's a lot more about this thing I'm trying to discover. You can play with the settings and do a lot of stuff. But before I do any of that, I'm just going to get out there and get a couple of uses for it. Probably get the helmet mount and go out in the dark and uh, get the little light and start doing a few things. Like I said, now, um, when I get a chance to do a more in-depth review after I do some stuff and get somebody to hold the camera so you can see me doing stuff and you can see what it looks like using it and everything and I get it all hooked up, then I will be able to put the second part of this video in the Psyonix extended review, kind of like what I'm going to be doing for this, the Firefield Nightfall extended review. Um, now, the reason why I'm doing some of the more budget night visions and stuff, like you can buy like, you know, the super expensive night vision and all the crazy high expensive stuff. Like I said, this is like $700 plus tax and shipping and all that stuff. And this was like 140. But like I said, there's pros and cons to each. Even if you buy the most expensive night vision and all that stuff, you're not going to be wanting to go out and do the most ridiculous training events with the most expensive stuff every time. Because as much as you, you know, a lot of people like to think that they're super badass and all that other stuff, stuff gets lost, stuff gets broken. I see comments, hey, how do you fix this? How do you do that? And a lot of people won't admit. They'll just go and save up money and buy a new, uh, buy another one. And some of these night vision can be pretty expensive. So if you're going to be doing a lot of training, I suggest personally, if you're going to get into this and you're not really sure what you want, to buy a, I guess, what like, you know, if you're going to buy a PVS-14, buy like a extremely cheap Mimic version. Again, you don't have to do this. You can just go buy whatever if you want. And then practice with it, even though it's going to be digital and completely different. And see if you even like night vision, if you're going to get into it. And if you already know or borrow friends, try it out. Like I said, I bought the cheaper, more budget version to try to just have it because obviously um, people who like this kind of stuff get into um, outdoors things. And there's a lot of other stuff that's, you know, not going to tell you to be Mr. Consumer or anything like that. But, you know... Do what's good for you because I know that not everybody's got all this types of money. You know, they might have a super expensive car, but night vision is spending money on that. They're just like, ah, I can't justify that because it's not really, they're not really into it. But then they dry it. They get a couple of little cheaper ones like, wow, this is actually cool. Then they get the real serious stuff. Same thing. A lot of people might have super awesome night vision, but, you know, they may not have 12 AKs like some, the next person or eight campers or whatever. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to probably, like I said, I'm going to try to get a uh, mount for this and put it on the helmet so that I can get it out there and use it because I know a lot of people were asking me about it and uh, I actually do need to use this like I said you can screw this in here and on a stand or helmet or a skull crusher or whatever you like um, I actually do need to use this because in places that I'm going out there are like wild animals and stuff and you know possibly tweakers so I'm not trying to go out there and just you know get got so definitely let, let me know what you think down in the comments below um, this is actually I made this video a little bit um, a little bit sooner because I was a little busy, but I wanted to get this done. There's a subscriber that was asking me about what to get into night vision because he was just getting into it. Some of my older videos were actually very positive for him as they usually are. I get a lot of comments on the older nightfall video. So I'm going to be doing a second video of the nightfall and I'm going to be checking this out um, <clears throat> and also comparing this with this. There should be some footage here in this video of like the nightfall. And uh, when I'm able to do a second nightfall video, I'll definitely let you know. Like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below if you guys have any questions. And definitely let me know. Stay tuned for the live streams. Been a little bit busy, but we're back. Thanks.